Space Engineers, Commander Kingfish here, and uh, we are on day three of our journey here on the planet and playing in the industrial overhaul. Now, as I mentioned in the last video at the end, I was going to do some reconnaissance, and I did. I didn't find much. I managed to find, uh, I think, another silicon rock. Oh, here. Let me open this up here. And... Where are we at here? Uh, I... So I managed to find a coal field, uh, an ice lake slash silicon, another silicon rock, and that was about it. Now I think I know about where I want to put the, the new base. Uh, it's not going to be far from this coal field and I am going to be able to explore up that valley to see if there's resources. That's one of the things with this particular mod is that uh, it's not quite as easy. You're going to have to grind out looking for your ores and whatnot. And right now I'm just trying to... Well, I know that I can get iron, silicon, copper, and nickel from stone. So we can kind of cover those. What I really would like to find is cobalt, because you need that for the metal grids. And then uh, there's uh, aluminum or bauxite. That you need for aluminum plates, which really kind of replaces the interior plates in the vanilla game. So that's what we're really looking for right now. And then some of the other precious metals is uh, platinum, obviously. Uh, titanium and silver and gold those we'll want to find those at some point uh, but that's why it's important that we got to keep uh, the buggy alive and because that's our only medical facility as you can see the weather had kind of picked up uh, we've got uh, some snow looks like it's starting to uh, die down a little bit and uh, as soon as it does, uh, we can start kind of heading out to where I want to put in the new base. So what I want to do is go ahead and generate some uh, parts so that I can build a assembly bench down there uh, along with a wind turbine, turbine and uh, get uh, that set up so once I get those parts and whatnot ready to go I will uh, get back with you so talk to you in a bit well wouldn't you know it I uh, have all my parts ready to go and what do we got we got a uh, Kind of a wind and snow fog blow in. And so I am going to slowly try to make it down the hill. And uh, we're going to head towards the coal field. But that's not exactly where I want to put the base. Hopefully by the time we get down into there this weather will have cleared so wish us uh, wish me luck hopefully we will make it I uh, keep the video going here and uh, keep on uh, talking a little bit so let's see let me get this uh, the battery switched over and Let's get uh, nine for the gyros. We can turn this off, and we should be ready to kind of roll out. Now, I've got all the parts loaded. If I remember correctly, we should be able to kind of sneak, slide down this hill here. And hopefully we don't end up out of control and we just got to make it down to the bottom once we get down 
towards the flats. Uh, it should be pretty good. So far, so good. I got all the parts. I got enough to make a uh, assembly bench and a wind turbine, along with some extra parts for kind of getting some uh, a few blocks of the base laid out. This is a slow... Just trying to take it slow and easy. I'm loaded, so there's lots of weight included, so let's uh, hopefully we can continue to make it down this hill. I think it's starting to level off a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That helps. I think we still got a little more to get down to the flats. One thing having that mod with the smooth voxel, uh, it eliminates those cragged uh, spots in the hillside. Now you, it's not going to make it to where you can drive everywhere, but it certainly smooths things out so you can drive down these hills and, and places that you should be able to drive without any problems. So hopefully we make it down to where we need to go. Slow down a little bit, slow down, there we go. And hopefully this weather's going to clear a little bit. We get started on the new base. I was hoping, well, when I was driving around, exploring, I went all the way over to the, uh, found that ice lake with the silicon field, and uh, that was about 10, 12 kilometers away, and mostly in the dark. Boy, oh boy, was it to kind of hair raising at times. But I got there without too much problem and made it back. I didn't I, I didn't get in any predicaments, let's put it that way. So and it looks like we're, we're down on the flats now so we can get a little more speed. Again we're we're gonna hit the coal field and then use that kind of as a reference. I want to go a little bit towards the south southeast to set up the base. I'd like for it to clear off a little bit so I can kind of see exactly where I'm going to what I want to set up. I know this flat up and in here other than the coal field, it seems to be pretty void of ores. Now again, I've got a, a valley uh, that I'm going to be able to explore, see if there's some ores up there. Really would like to find bauxite and cobalt are the two that I really would like to find. Uh, I can get just about all the other ores out of stone that I need of the basic ores. Uh, iron, silicon, copper, and uh, nickel. All right. Well, the weather hasn't cleared up like I was hoping it would. We're at least here to the coal field. Bit of a challenge getting down here. Trying not to hit any trees.
Yeah, the uh, Weather Be Nicer mod uh, mainly takes out the, the lightning, because the lightning was just too over the top, and which I'm good with that. I'm, in real life, I'm a bit of afraid of lightning, so I just as soon not have it uh, in the game, to be honest with you. All right. Okay, let's just kind of park it right here. Let's hop out. Oh, man. Well, let's see. I tell you what. Let's make for that silicon rock, because if I remember that wasn't too bad a spot. I didn't want to necessarily be right on top of the coal field, because when we actually put our mine in, uh, I would just as soon have the mine away from the base. I've got some ideas on how to transport that anyway. So we'll work over towards that silicon rock, and then kind of hopefully by that point the weather will have dispersed a little bit. And yeah, that's the one we want. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Which I should have should have done already. Let's uh let's just turn these off. And we'll leave the coal field on for now. We're not going to go after you right now. We'll turn you off. There we go. That uh, kind of clears things up a little bit. All right, head towards the silicon rock. And somewhere right in there, we should be able to find a pretty good spot. Oh, I think the weather's starting to clear. I'm starting to see some mountains off over in the distance. And... I can always grind that rock out of the way. Get to about, uh... weather. I'm just going to stop right here and hop out and walk around a little bit. Maybe right back in here will be a good spot to start. Go grab some steel plates and we'll go ahead and uh, make this our base. You know, we've got to, we've had to at some point. So let's uh, grab uh, like 10 of these.
home base. And let's uh, give it a color. Three by three, that ought to do pretty good. And let's uh, put uh, that. That I think should have about used up my steel. All right. Next thing we want to do is get our uh, wind turbine up. And let's pull this over a little closer. I thought the weather was going to clear up a little bit, but maybe not. Alright, let's uh, grab some more steel. Let's see, let's grab about... Uh, do about 40 of them. And if we do run out of parts, we obviously still have the survival kit there. Uh, so let's just start going... There. That there. I'd like to try to go about 10 high. Let's see if we can get that high. Alright. as to how high I am right now, but let's... Let go down and see just exactly how high we are. Oh! Alright, so we are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So about three more. this. Well, actually, it's not yet. I can make it up there. Stay close to the edge. Okay, there's another one. That's should be eight. This 
get scary up here. There's ten. Actually, I think I gotta go one more. Actually, actually, no, I think I'm good. I just gotta get up onto this block. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have to... Right, I have to come out here like this. Get that block there. Then I can... Start doing this, making a bit of a platform. One and that one. How many block? How many do I have left? I have 19. Alright, that's good. Alright, so this is where I come up. I want to be able to go both ways. Alright. Let's see if I put... Oop, watch where you step. Put that one there. I need to go out this way, I think. Walk. Ah! Ow! That hurt. attention to where you're stepping as soon as we get our windmill up and we uh, get a little better production we'll, we'll make this a little bit safer coming up start getting all these wireframes, it's kind of hard to figure out where you're at. Alright. Alright, now we can kind of go out this way. There we go. Let's put two more over here. We should be able to get our windmill up. Okay. And let's do this. Let's grab the windmill. Put that one there. And let's go ahead. We're not going to build that one yet, but we'll put it right there. We'll, once we. Uh, get our assembly bench going, then we'll make the parts for that one. Oh, I think the weather's finally starting to clear a little bit. Of course, after... Uh, after the sun goes down, but... Let's see something. Uh, I kind of like the looks of how it looks off that direction. Looks fairly level. A couple of trees out there. All right. All right. Let's go get our parts for the windmill, wind turbine, turbine. All right. Might as well uh, hit the old. Uh, Medical Bay. I have a feeling I might fall again. Okay, there's that. Alright. Now, let me grab parts. 
Now I'm not going to put all of the steel in. Let's see, I've got how many? I got eight left. Actually, you know what? I only need one more. One more steel. Uh, I want to try to conserve. Where's my electrodes? Did I not make them? Ah, crap. I forgot to make the electromagnets. Alright, let's grab the 20. Oh, 10, 20. We'll get everything in there. Ah. Uh, That's good. Uh, two of these. And let's... I guess let's uh, see if we can make our electromagnets. Dang. Boy, I, I, did I forget them? Uh, anyway, alright. I think I'm going to need... Let's do this. All right, let's. Unless I put them back here. Can I put them back here? No, of course not. All right, I know that I need some wire. Let's put about 50 of these wires in there. And let's. Production. I need one, two, three, four, seven, eight. Let's hopefully we got enough there. All right, while those are making. Let's go up. And make sure we don't fall again. And we just need the eight. Get that going, then we can get our assembly bench going. And then we can get a, a charging station for this so that this can get plugged in. And we're almost there with that. more. One more. You can do it. And I don't have any stone in my... I'll have to go grab some stone. Alright, let's grab... Oop. Let's grab that. And let's get... Uh, Well, looks like daylight's not too far off in the distance, maybe. I think, looking over towards the coal field, out over and in there, I think the sun comes up in that direction, and then kind of comes up and over, and maybe that's just because it's still going down. So I think this is a pretty good spot to get a lot of sunshine during the day. Alright, there we go, we got a windmill online. Okay. Now, let's, uh, actually the first thing I'm going to build is that charging station. And we are going to put it right next to the windmill here. I think I need, I need a steel plate construction component and a basic computer. I should have all of those in here. Uh, grab one of 
these. And we can grab ten of these. Alright. Let's get the charging station up and running. And don't worry about all of this color. I'm going to... I'll be changing that at some point. There we go. All right, that's got that built. Now let's uh, let's pull this over just a little bit closer, and uh, there we go. Let's park that. While we're here, let's grab uh, this stuff. I got my copper wire on me. All right, we should be able to build our uh, assembly bench. Okay. And let's do this while we're at it. Might as well hook, hook this up. There we go. That also gives us a little extra power because we've got that lithium battery. Now that's one of the things that the mod has uh, changed. It's actually made those lithium batteries a little more powerful, or that's the regular large battery. And so it will really help us with, the, with our power supply as we start to get things built up a little bit more. So let's do this. Let's go five do that right there uh, and let's get this thing built so what I will do once we get what's daybreak comes I'm going to run back up to the old temp base and uh, dismantle that a little bit. All right, so we're, we've got that and that's in place. Uh, got that. All right, uh, what's next? Uh, I was just thinking, oh, I know what I gotta do or what I wanna do. Uh, we've got, uh, I've got a couple of steel plates all right, what I want to do is make a storage. Where do I want to do that at? Now, one of the things that uh, is a little bit different in this mod, I think we'll put it in right here. And we can always move it later. Let's put one, two, and that. Now, you don't have containers. Uh, let's go over. So, or you can't build containers yet, like this medium cargo container. It requires aluminum plates. Well, we don't have bauxite yet. Uh, one of the things that we do get in the drops from time to time is some aluminum plates. So, as we capture some of those uh, drops then we'll store up some aluminum plates but we'll have to be judicious with them until we can find bauxite uh, then uh, we're going to be in a, a spot of bother and trying to build that so all of the normal containers that you're used to uh, takes aluminum plates so we really can't build any of those so we're kind of stuck now you have a transport container <coughs> excuse me and you have a crate the crate really kind of replaces the medium cargo container uh, again uh, it's the same capacity but you have no way it, it, it can't connect you can just access it 
put stuff in and then you manually take stuff out. So let's pull this down. And we are going to uh, I want to get this built because this way I can get all my stuff stored. So we do need some materials. And let's uh, so that's 50 steel plate, 20 construction. So I just wanted to get that there so it can get started with it. All right, uh, let me get all of our ores out. We can get that into... Well, actually, let's just grab all of this stuff because we can put all of that in over here. This can kind of act as a, uh, a real kind of a mini storage area for us. There we go. Might as well throw the copper wire up here. Put that in, put that in, put that in, put that in. And I'm going to have to find a spot to go dig some stone up. I don't want to do it too close to the base. I just trying to keep it as pristine as possible. I know that sounds silly, but that's the way I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's grab that gravel out of there. Let's see production. I guess yeah, we're gonna have to get some more stone. Let me get this over here. get a little bit of steel going. 11. Let's get maybe 10, 20, 40 of those. All right, I tell you what, I'm going to find a spot to dig some stone and start grabbing some stone and I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right, I think I'm about ready to to get this container built. What, what did I have? I still need my small tubes and my two basic computers. So let's grab the 20 small tubes and the two computers. Get that done and then we can kind of be able to store some of our stuff. Because when I go back up to the other temp base to tear that down, we're going to need a place to store some of this stuff instead of just throwing it on the ground. All right. And that's what this container will do for us. Just kind of keeps things nice and neat and tidy. All right, so we can actually, say, grab this gravel. Might sound funny, but I'm, uh, one of the first things I will get up and running is the cement factory because it's a lot cheaper to build cement blocks and I want to use cement blocks for my base or my foundation, basically. Okay. Uh, so what's next? I want to, I guess I better get some, right now, at least some steel blocks. Actually, I'll, let me see something here. Uh, no, we can't make girders. See, girders are part of the cement blocks. So here, let me show you. So if we go into our concrete blocks, it takes uh, 20 concrete, which is made through the cement factory, which is made from gravel, uh, and then five girders. But that's a lot cheaper than... Uh, using stone or steel blocks. So if you look at a steel block, that's 25 steel plates. So again, it's a lot cheaper and for something that was uh, we would just throw away before on the, uh, the gravel. So anyway, that's that. So I'm going to start, let's see, 
I uh, actually, you know what I need to do? I need to get that next wind turbine going. Uh, so let's get it up and running. And what did we need for it? We need 10 steel plates. Let's see what we got over here. 10 steel plates, construction, eight electromagnets. Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 20 construction. Which means we need eight more of those. Six, seven, eight. Uh, I got one too many. That's okay. Uh, copper wire, 24, two basic computers. So we've got the basic computers. We've got copper wire, which will get used there. So we might have enough. Uh, so let's, uh, let's grab... Actually, we don't need... I'm trying to be conservative. I already got one steel plate. Uh, I don't uh, want to use more resources than what I really need need to, at least here in the beginning. Once once we're set and we have lots of resources, then I can go back in and, and rebuild, add the extra steel plates. But as long as I can get stuff built without having to waste them and still be able to use them, then that's what I'm going to do. I was close there. I was close. All right. I will catch up with you once I get the rest of the parts to finish building this. And we hopefully the sun will be up and we'll see a little more of what the valley looks like and where we're building our base. I kind of like the looks of it right now. All right, I think I got enough to finish off that wind turbine up there. Let's go see. I also made it a little safer walking up. So hopefully that will make it a little bit easier. I'll try not to make everybody dizzy as I'm going up. All right, here we go. Oh, four more copper wire and then we'll have it. Let me go get those. So yeah, we're progressing along. We actually got our base started here. I also, uh, I think I, I painted the storage bin. That's, I like putting them as yellow. That's just a preference of mine. And let's see. Let's just grab 10 of them. That should be enough. All right. That's just a preference. I think it looks kind of cool. Yellow storage crates. All right, there we go. Two tur turbines. Let's check to see how our power sources are now. Ah. Uh, I also got the smelter at least started. We'll have to start getting all the parts for it. Uh, let's just uh, hop in and, and take a look at the controls. So that one's producing almost 500 kilowatts. Same with that one. The wind current is 68, so that's good. Uh, and let's see how our battery's doing. Our battery is got stored. Uh, output is four milliwatts, so or megawatts or, or milliwatts. Yeah, I think that's right. 
uh, which should allow us to run our smelter when we're hooked up here. So that's good. So between the two, between the battery and the two wind turbines, we should be in pretty good shape. Let's, uh, uh, all right. Ultimately, I'll want to build at least two more wind turbines and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. So let me start getting the parts ready for the smelter and I will catch back up with you once I have that ready to build. All right, look at that. It's a beautiful sunrise coming up and uh, I'm pretty happy with where we ended up selecting. We do have some uh, kind of a little rolling hill that kind of drops off here a little bit, but we managed to kind of pick a plateau here that we're going to be able to expand out on. And I've got some ideas on how I'm going to set some of this stuff up. And these little bit of rolling hills, I don't think is going to uh, create any problems for us. So yeah, I'm look, kind of looking like where we're setting up the base. The real challenge is going to be just finding the resources. Uh, the coal field will be great for our power. Uh, we've also got a lot of snow around here and I think we can probably find some ice for hydrogen. Uh, and hydrogen will probably be one of the first ones we can get up and running. I also got some ideas on recovering some of the lithium batteries out of these uh, drop pods. And so uh, as we uh, start over the next uh, couple of three or four episodes, I'll get started on building a, uh, uh, another Explorer vehicle because I would just as soon leave my respawn pod or my buggy uh, sitting here at base. I'd rather not have to take it out uh, just for the fact that I don't want to risk losing it because if we lose it, we're in big trouble. And let's see, so where are we at? I actually uh, just wanted to kind of show you the, the upcoming sunrise and, and what the base is starting to look like here. I know it's not much more than what we had up on the temp base, but I certainly like the area a little bit more. So let's see how we're doing as far as... Uh, oh, I had some... Uh, business to take care of here. I have to, let's see, get some ice in uh, over here into production. Drop that in there. Uh, let's see. And I needed to get this up there. Uh, oh, crap. Take that out. 400. Now we can drop that in up there. That gets the food production going. And let's get some more water making. Get maybe 20 more of those. Now we should be able to drop this in up there, I think. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and just throw the excess ice in container over here. That's what this container is handy for. Keeping my gravel, my ice, all that sort of good stuff. And let's see how we're doing uh, for our... Uh, still producing away. Let's see... How many steel did I need? I need 79. Let's see, how many do we got made here? We got 104. Let's grab 79. And put that in there. Then we can grab our construction, our copper wire. We're kind of close to having this done. And I'll be happy when this is done. 
Alright, let's get the construction and the copper wire. What was it? Uh, 20 on the copper wire. Oh, it hasn't started making the construction yet. Let's, uh, let's put that up. Let's see if we can get that done. I guess it's got a little bit more to go on that, but I'd like to get this done before we wrap up today. And uh, the 20 basic computers, did that get done? Yeah, we got 20 of them right here. Let's grab those. And while we're waiting for that, let's throw the rest of this stone in over here. Now that smelter will be a little more efficient when it comes to... Uh, uh, what am I doing? When it comes to processing the stone. So every step up, everything becomes a little more efficient. You don't have upgrade modules for the refineries and stuff like that. It's all part of having better equipment or better processing. Uh, like a rock crusher will refine the the ores down and then that gives you a, a little more quality ore going in. And then once you get up to the technology of having a ore purifier, then it'll go from the rock crusher to the purifier to the refinery. And that's basically how you get your upgrades on the refinery. And we'll get more into that when we get to that point. Let's see, all right, construction and our heating elements. Uh, there they are. And let's see. Let's put these up. Let's get that started. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Cancel that. Let's go ahead and just put those up there. And after we get the smelter built, the next thing we are going to put in is a wire assembly and then an extruder. The wire assembly obviously produces wire, copper wire, gold wire, and superconductors, if I remember. Uh, and then the extruder produces uh, small, small pipes, large pipes, and girders. So, yeah, we're getting closer here. All right, let's see how we're doing here. We got seven. Let's pop that in there. We just need the rest of our heating elements. And I actually think with that battery hooked up, which is now fully charged, that we'll be able to run the smelter. And then the next steps will be to get a couple more turbines, turbines up there. And then uh, at that point, uh, I hope to be able to go out and explore for some more ores, but we'll start just slowly building out the factory here, or the base. Okay, how are we doing? There's six more. Let's, uh, let's just go up while we're waiting on those and just kind of see if we can survey the area from up above up here. So that's kind of a large plateau up and in there. We're, we're kind of sitting on here along... Uh, it's got a little, and that's kind of a plateau over there towards the coal field. So yeah, the drill trick is just finding the, the ores, finding uh, our, our resources. So again, we can get a lot of it out of the stone, but the critical ones that we need to be able to progress further along will be cobalt and aluminum. So. I'll uh, end up doing some more exploratory 
searches for the materials uh, offline so that uh, you're not sitting there bored with me just driving around. Uh, let's see. That uh, should be it. Yeah, there it is. All right. There's our basic refinery. Let's go grab some stone and see see if it processes. I got the stone hole over here. As you can see, I told you I was going to build it away from away from where the base is so we don't have unsightly holes around the base. And let me uh, get us There we go. All right. Oh, I think that's ice there. So I can get ice out of this hole as well. Beautiful. Oop, come on. Get up and out of here. There we go. All right. running. Oh, that's such a beautiful sound. Look at that. It will produce that down and uh, yeah, we're going to be able to have this do all of our producing. So we're going to, we're, we're getting closer. We're getting much, much closer. All right. Uh, I got ice on me. Let me just go ahead and throw it in over here for now. I think that was what I wanted to get done for day three. Day four, we want to continue to expand out the base, build those next couple of components. Uh, I want to add more wind turbines and hopefully we'll have discovered some better, some more ore. Uh, and what I might do is work on setting up a uh, some sort of mining operation, at least for the stone, so that uh, we don't have to sit there and hand drill it all the time. All right, well, with that, uh, we will call this a day. And I will catch up with you in the next episode. Enjoy, space engineers. Stay safe out there. Commander Kingfish is out. <laughs>